Ever notice how two PCs with the same FPS can feel completely different? One feels sharp and responsive, the other feels delayed, stuttery, or inconsistent. That's not your GPU, and it's not raw CPU speed either. The real culprit is CPU cache and memory access latency. Your CPU doesn't pull data straight from RAM every time. It relies on multiple layers of cache, L1, L2, and L3, and when data isn't where the CPU expects it, performance feels bad even if FPS stays high. Today, we're breaking this down properly and fixing the Windows side behavior that causes excessive cache misses, thread bouncing, and memory stalls in games. Step 1. Understand Cache Latency – Why FPS Lies Quick explanation without fluff. L1 Cache – Fastest, Smallest, Per Core L2 Cache – Slightly Slower, Still Per Core L3 cache, shared between cores, much slower than L1 and L2. RAM, orders of magnitude slower than cache. When a game thread jumps between CPU cores or CCDs, L1 and L2 cache is invalidated. CPU falls back to L3 or RAM. Frame delivery stalls for microseconds. You feel stutter, input lag, or hitching. This is why stable FPS don't translate to smooth gameplay. High clocks don't equal low latency. Bad scheduling destroys cache efficiency. Our goal is to keep game threads on the same cores, minimize background interference, and stop windows from forcing cache misses. Step 2. Stop windows from bouncing game threads. By default, Windows aggressively moves threads between CPU cores to balance load. While this looks good on paper, it's terrible for gaming. When game threads are constantly migrated, CPU cache gets invalidated. Data must be reloaded into L1, L2, and L3 cache. Frame times become inconsistent. Input latency increases, even if FPS looks fine. This step locks Windows scheduling into a latency-first behavior. Registry scheduling fix, foreground bias. Open RegEdit and navigate to this path. Create or modify the following value. Win32 priority separation equals 26 decimal. This strongly favors foreground applications, your game uses shorter, more responsive time slices, reduces thread migration between CPU cores, improves cache locality for active game threads. Multimedia scheduling fix, game thread protection. Now navigate to this path. Set the following value. System responsiveness equals zero. This tells Windows not to reserve CPU time for background multimedia tasks during gameplay. Game-specific priority lock. Next, open this path. Set or modify these values. Scheduling category equals high. Priority equals six. GPU priority equals eight. This keeps game threads in high priority queues, prevents background tasks from preempting frames, reduces mid-frame interruptions, improves CPU-slash-GPU synchronization, lowers input to frame latency. These settings work together to keep your game's logic, rendering, and input threads anchored and uninterrupted. Step 3. Reduce cache misses caused by power states. Modern CPUs constantly adjust frequency and enter different power states to save energy. While efficient for general computing, these transitions are terrible for gaming. Each change can flush L1, L2, L3 cache, forcing the CPU to reload instructions and data. Threads may stall mid-frame while waiting for cache reloads. Input to frame latency increases and frame pacing becomes inconsistent. 
We're going to lock CPU behavior so your game executes smoothly and consistently. Enable Ultimate Performance Power Plan. Open Command Prompt as Administrator and run these commands. This creates and activates the Ultimate Performance Plan, which prioritizes raw CPU throughput over energy saving. Lock CPU frequency and power states. To stop mid-frame fluctuations, run these commands. What each tweak does. Proc throttle min 100 prevents CPU from downclocking below max frequency. Proc throttle max 100 ensures full CPU speed during gameplay. Perf boost mode 0 disables automatic turbo adjustments mid-frame. Idle Disable 1 stops cores from entering deep idle states during active sessions. Activating the scheme ensures these settings persist for the current session. Step 4. Prevent background tasks from polluting cache. Even with CPU frequencies locked, Windows background tasks can ruin frame-to-frame -frame consistency by evicting game data from L1 slash L2 slash L3 caches. This causes sudden micro stutters, delayed input response, and uneven frame pacing. We're going to systematically disable the main offenders and reduce timer-induced cache flushes. Disable cache polluting services. Open Services, press Win plus R, type services.msc, then enter. Locate and change startup type slash stop these services. Sysmain, superfetch slash prefetch, constantly preloads data into RAM and wakes CPU cores. Evicts cached game instructions from CPU caches. Connected user experiences and telemetry. Sends background telemetry. Triggers periodic disk I.O. and CPU wakeups. Program compatibility assistant. Scans apps when launching, occasionally waking cores. Unnecessary for modern gaming. Stop each service and set startup type to disabled. This ensures these background processes no longer interfere with cache and CPU cycles during gameplay. Stop timer abuse, critical. Windows often forces high frequency timer interrupts for background tasks. These tiny micro wakeups repeatedly flush CPU caches and evict active game data. Open command prompt as administrator. Run this one command. Prevents the dynamic tick system from waking CPU cores unnecessarily. Reduces micro latency spikes caused by timers. Optional, test for stability. Run this one command. Forces Windows to use the hardware platform clock. Can further reduce jitter in frame delivery. Step five, keep game threads local. Final stability step. This is the step where all previous latency, cache, and scheduling tweaks come together. The goal is to ensure your game threads stay on the same CPU cores as much as possible, preserving L1, L2, and L3 cache, and reducing mid-frame interruptions. Use Process Lasso, safe and reliable method. Download and install Process Lasso official website. Open Process Lasso and allow it to run in the background. Enable the following global options. Pro Balance On dynamically adjusts background processes to prevent them from interrupting the foreground game. Performance Mode Highest Performance locks active applications into higher priority queues. Locate your game executable in the running processes list. Right-click, CPU Priority, High. Right-click, Power Profile, Bit Sum Highest Performance. Optional, use CPU Affinity for heavy CPU-bound games. Restrict the game process to two to four cores 
on the same physical CPU chip. This minimizes thread migration and maximizes cache locality. After these changes we made, you can expect fewer cache misses, reduced memory stalls, better frame pacing, lower input latency. CPU works with its cache instead of against it. This is why some systems feel fast even at the same FPS. Cache efficiency wins. You just fixed one of the most overlooked performance killers on Windows. Your CPU cache is finally being used properly and your games aren't fighting the scheduler anymore. If this helped, drop a like, comment your CPU, and subscribe for more deep system level optimization guides. Smooth frames, low latency, see you in the next one.